Hi, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I will be reviewing the Hero 6 Star Soldier Invasion from Under Eva Walker. Now, taking a look at the set, it's clearly just the Hero Factory Invasion from Below Eva Walker, just uh, made by somebody else. Now, of course, I will be comparing this to the official set, set because I actually did manage to round up the parts and put it back together for this video. But before we get into that, we should get into like kind into a kind of review for this set. So starting off, we have the little. Uh, the little like Evo figurine, like minifigure, the little Evo minifigure. Well, doesn't look too bad. The joints on this guy, they're just re the regular standard hinge joints. This can obviously move around. You can take this off. And clip it onto his hand and basically use that as a weapon. Man, it doesn't have a, doesn't really have a great whip. Doesn't really have a great, yeah, he doesn't really have a great grip uh, for, on his weapon. But that's fine. Alright, what else? We, oh yeah, we have the uh, little jumper beasts. We get three of them here, one in orange, one in red, and one in green. So how these work, they're pretty simple. They're like little, do you remember, if anyone like remembers what those like little like jumper frog toys were, you basically just uh, press down the rear end of this uh, small creature and then boom, it jumps. And I almost lost it. They they basically work like that. Man, I can. And they do have a nice like. They. Yeah, they do have a nice range. Uh, they when you press it down. A good bit. They do have a good range. They do can jump pretty far, I should say. Anyways, clipping that back on. It's pretty. They're pretty simple, but they're actually kind of neat. A neat little like army builder type of thing. You get three of. You actually get. Yeah, I already mentioned you get three of them. And with that, and with Evo, you do actually get this like little like, hero pad thing on his forearm. I forgot to mention that. But with the little figures of the way we can get into the actual build of this, get into the actual meat and potatoes of the set, which. It's honestly not a whole lot of meat, meat and potatoes. Like it is, it's it does look pretty cool, kinda. I'm not gonna lie. I do think this, like, compared to like every other like invasion from below Hero Factory set, I do think that this one is like the weakest. But even the weakest invasion from below set doesn't really look that bad in my opinion. You do get a cockpit, this like little, little like station seat thing with little joysticks. It has like a little canopy. It can attack. Evo can attach onto the seat using this peg back here, back here, which can peg into that port. Can tap into there. Can. Grab onto these 
joysticks with no issue. Cockpit can close. And co cockpit can attach onto a ball joint with ease. Now he... Uh, it, it's a pretty simple looking like a tripod tank thing. Tripod turret. Uh, you can move the you can move the like the turrets like a good bit like like that. The rear leg can like move around and stuff like that, and and the front legs can do this if you want them to do that. And they also have a couple of joints like there and so. And because it's one of those Xamor Spear launchers, it can well, it can fire, huh? It's actually not firing that well. What if I? There we go. Let me just get retrieve that real quick. It can fire, it's just a little tricky. And we do have, oh yeah, and this can move around like that. It's a weird little thing and it's, it's a pretty small weird little thing, but I personally do think it's, uh, I will admit that it, that this set is pretty weak compared to compared to pretty much every other set in the invasion from below line. It does have neat parts though, and you get a if and if you're into the jumper beast, you do get three of them in a single set. Even though it does come with a Xamarin Spear Launcher, comes with a decent little bit of handful of yellow parts. Like it's honestly kind of neat. And so overall, I do think that this is like the weakest Hero Factory sets. Like. And that's talking about the actual here, the actual set itself. Like talked about the bootleg, like. But I have the bootleg version, and in order to for me to actually like properly review the bootleg, I'm actually going to compare it to the official one. Now the official one is pretty dinged up, like it's dusty. Uh, scratched up and a lot and you might notice that a lot of the yellow parts are missing like yellow parts here yellow parts for his arms and a shell on his back is silver instead of yellow well that is because I did have this set, set this little set for a long time now and over time I did, I happen to have broken some of these parts over time. Unfortunate, yes, I grabbed uh, parts that are close enough that aren't the same color but are close enough. It's still all it's still using only official parts, and here are the jumper beasts. Boom! Here to come now to start off this comparison. Let's actually start with the jumper beasts. Now, let's start off with green. Here's the green one, and here is the one on the. 
The one on the left is the bootleg and the one on the right is the official. You do see that the official one is slightly brighter, has like a slightly like brighter shade of green. And I do notice that like the rubber used in these uh, colored parts, they're kind of you know, like they're like really soft. They feel they feel way softer than the more firmness of the plastic of the rubber rubbery plastic on these parts. Oh, and in color part wise, the bootlegs are gray, whereas these one the official ones are tan for some strange reason. Not entirely sure why. That's a good indication to show you which ones are real and which ones are fake. So yeah, yeah. The, aside from like those sm smaller differences, they honestly look pr they honestly look close enough to the same as the official ones. So there's that at least. Now getting the jumpers out of the way. Let's now get into the, I'm taking this guy out again. Let's now get into the Evo, well, pilot, Evo pilot portion. Here is the one on the left is the bootleg, one on the right is the official. Don't mind the red arms, they're supposed to be yellow. This yellow, and comparing the yellow, um, the yellow plastic, and this goes for all the yellow plastic. It it feels a little brighter. The yellow there is slightly brighter and slightly shinier than the than the official. And actually comparing the printed parts on here, which I did, like I did pull, which I did find the original official uh, hero tablet thing for Evo. And, and yeah, it actually was, it officially actually was uh, just a, a printed part all along. Because in my unboxing video, I thought that this detail was a sticker. Now looking at each part. I do see that the bootleg one is... Like the official one is more, more is like way more transparent, I think. Even though it's so, even though this part is so old. And the hero cores, they honestly look close, close enough to the same. And the head. Oh, one thing I will notice, in terms of color, is they're like skeleton torso things. On the official, they were black. Like you could get a more on the official one figures they were black, but on this bootleg, it's a it's more of they're they're using basically that a uh, gunmetal gray sort of color. And that's basically it for the comparison for the Evo themselves. But now let's compare the walkers. The like turret tanks, and they're and like immediately. Let me get this up. In comparing these two, immediately I start to notice uh, a difference within the color that the, these guys use for their gunmetal gray. Because if you look. Like, here's the silver part, and here's the gunmetal gray part. 
Here the silver part is the same as he is per close enough to the same. But the gunmetal gray part they use here is much brighter is it's like much brighter than the gunmetal gray they used here. It honestly looks closer to this than it does this. This part does. And the same goes here. I look I look at the stickers on the cockpit. Obviously the stickers on this cockpit are long since gone, but fortunately I still have these stickers on the cockpit from my Ferno jet machine. But anyways, comparing the stickers, the bootleg and the official, attaching the stickers was like no big was no big issue, especially with the training I've done for stickers. No for like attaching stickers but i do notice that on the official stickers they they're a lot more the like the white parts is the white printing on the stickers is much more bold and like much brighter than the sort of subtle the sort of subtleness of this of these stickers like it but i do like but I honestly do like this look. It's just, it's just compared to this, it's much. It sort of gives it a different look, and I honestly kind of like that. And with that, now let's get into like the joints. The rest of the parts do look cl close, and I have tested it, and, and I have tested it, but we can test it now. Yes, these joints can indeed work, are, compat are indeed compatible with the official stuff. So there is that. And let's just so let's just uh, get these little Evo figures back on. Come on, boom! And obviously, these things, these little turret tanks, can look pretty awkward most of the time. Oh, one more thing, like, the hinges for the cockpits, like, this one, on the official, the official one is nice, and, uh, it's a nice, it's, it's a nice, uh, solid hinge, but on this one, it's a bit looser, so there is that, for a different, for another, a different point. Oh, and there is one more thing. On, you see on top of the of on top of the spare parts that it usually comes with it also comes with a spare Evo leg and a spare Xamor sphere these I remember are parts are extra parts that the official one did not come with so the the bootleg does have that going for it I don't know, like, maybe the people who made this bootleg are aware of how weak the hinge joints are on these little Hero Factory figures. Maybe. And having, and having a spare Xamarin sphere, sphere is really, is really appreciated. And there are the Xamarin spheres next to each other. They're they're almost the same. Like this one is more solid. Like this one is more opaque than this one. 
doesn't really have that glowy effect that this one has. And comparing the details here, come on. Come on. Comparing the details here, you can see that the bad, that it's most, that the printing on these parts is mostly the same, except for the battle damage part. The, like the battle damage part. Which, come, come on. <laughs> like, you can see that the battle damage part is kind of different. That it like looks slightly more realistic on the... It's It does look slightly better on the official one. With the bootleg one. Yeah, the battle damage on this the bootleg part ain't that ain't like all that great compared to the official but there is that overall i do think this bootleg is pretty is pretty solid like it it's it's basically it's basically just the official it's basically it's close enough to the official one where i can where it, it's actually like pretty it like the quality of the plastic it's interest it's slightly different but not by much of the plastic itself the plastic doesn't feel like none of the plastic on the on the bootleg parts are feel like they would break on me anytime soon which that which I hope it doesn't this which it was something I was honestly kind of disappointed with this one is the fact that some of the yellow parts just happened to break on me. I hope the yellow parts on this guy would last a little bit longer. And overall, I do think that this does stand up to this official one. Like, like it does. Like, hey, it comes with extra, it, it comes with extra parts, and it comes in a box rather than a Ziploc bag. So, in my opinion, it, the bootleg is technically better than the official in that regard. But it's honestly a, it, but it's honestly a toss up. Like the, this overall, this bootleg is pretty is pretty decent for what it is, and that will be it. If you enjoyed this video, consider to like and subscribe, and of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.